Hello. Today, we will be looking at how to use a hand pump, aka the push pull pump, to clear out an oil line clogged by sludge. There are several different methods to clearing an oil line. In this video, we will be focusing on two of the most common ones. First, pushing the oil out of the filter holder at the oil tank, and second, pulling the oil out of the oil shutoff valve, aka the firematic at the burner. For this process, you will need several tools. You will need a push pull hand pump, several paper towels, a filter wrench, various other wrenches, vinyl tubing in order to purge the air from the oil line at the end, container to put your oil in, and an odor absorbing powder. For both methods shown, make sure you start with shutting the oil off at the oil tank. This first method is for if there is no check valve installed on the oil line with an oil filter at the tank. Start by removing the old filter, making sure to catch any excess oil in a container. Next, place your container underneath the filter holder. Then, attach the oil line to the push side of your hand pump. Work the pump handle and any blockages in the line should be blown clear. Put everything back together, including a brand new filter, purge the air from the line, and you should be ready for a combustion test. You can also set up the pull side of the hand pump, as shown in the next part, to purge the air out of the oil line if it is not gravity fed, thus reducing wear on the pump. This method is for if there is a check valve installed on the oil line or the line has no filter at the tank. First, install the pull side of your pump to the oil line at the burner. Make sure the other side is going into a bucket. After turning the oil back on, place the pump into a bucket and work the handle back and forth until oil begins to flow from the pump. Make sure to keep working the pump until all sludge is blown clear from the line. Shut off the oil at the tank, replace the line, purge any air from the oil line, and then you should be ready for a combustion test. After you use these methods, your oil line should be totally free of sludge and air. Just a couple things to keep in mind before, during, and after this procedure. First, make sure that the oil tank is more than halfway full with oil before attempting to clear out the oil line. Otherwise, you could very well end up just sucking more sludge into the line itself. Most oftentimes, the main cause of sludge in the oil line is the tank getting too low, so ensure that the homeowner knows to keep their oil tank above a quarter full, especially during the heating season. Next, make sure that when you're done, both the filter and the strainer get replaced. Again, when you're doing this procedure, even if they're fairly new, it could make them dirty during the operation, so you want to make sure to give them a new filter and a strainer. And last, make sure you verify that all the air and the sludge has been completely removed from the oil line itself. Aside from that, you should be all set, and if you perform this correctly, you should have no more issues with any sludge or buildup in your oil line. Thank you very much for watching.